Welcome back everybody. I'm Chris Jones and you're watching the world's worst fishing and uh, today we're going to do another fish cave uh, plastics episode and um, today we're actually making real actual orders. Um, so this isn't necessarily um, just how-to tutorial on a color but we are making new colors today and uh, I had a, uh, a really cool custom order come in this week and I have to match, let's see, I have to match a Gary Yamamoto color called Purple with Emerald Flake. Um, it's a fairly simple color, but I think it's going to turn out really cool. Um, the Gary Yamamoto version, as we all know, looks absolutely perfect. So I'm matching that. I'm also doing a Strike King color called KVD Magic. It's like a really brown green pumpkin with little bitty tiny blue flake in it and uh and i think that's going to look really good i have to make that in the boom shad uh, i also have to make trick worms in the gary yamamoto color and i have to do trick worms in baby bass um so we're going to be doing two new color matches today i've never made either one of those not the uh, yamamoto or the strike king um, i've done baby bass recently obviously that's like my most recent plastic video and uh, so we're gonna be doing a couple new things and, uh, and I think it's gonna be cool to see how they turn out. So we're gonna go ahead and jump in. Before we do, like and subscribe. Your support helps keep the channel going. So we've already been a little busy today. We've had, this is two small um, regular orders. So these are all colors that I offer kind of standard on my website. We have some um, watermelon red Senkos, some black with blue flake craws, uh, some um, obviously just flat yellow trick worms. I call that color mac and cheese. Junebug Florida frogs. We have watermelon seed flukes. And then some more um, watermelon red Cinco's. So uh, we've already kind of been at it today for a while. And now we're going to get started on the custom order. Okay, so we're going to start with this Strike King color. And um, so. The, the, I was actually wrong about the Strike King color at first. It's actually a laminate. It, I, I looked at a few pictures of it and they were very misleading. Um, uh, a lot of pictures of it only seem to show the top, which is the green pumpkin with the blue, but the bottom is actually kind of a white creamy pearl. So I had already actually mixed up the top color and then realized, whoops, it's actually a laminate, uh, so I need a pearl bottom. So I've measured out one cup of plastisol and uh, just like any other pearl color that we do we're gonna go ahead and get us a quarter teaspoon white pearl and um, I've actually got the top half uh, cooking in the microwave again because uh, I like I said I got it ready I cooked it up and I was like oops so party foul on that but we're gonna go ahead and get this uh, get this pearl side ready and uh, again, with any sort of powder, you want to really do a good job stirring. We're also going to add heat stabilizer. There we go. And we should be able to get this color up and running soon. So I'm just going to stir this a little bit more. And I think that one is ready for the vacuum chamber. All right, so I've got our pearl bottom half in the vacuum chamber. Uh, it needs to reach 30 and um, I get a lot of questions about this and where I buy it and what size it is This is a three gallon Provac uh, Vacuum chamber you can buy a pump at any hardware store like Harbor Freight Tools has those um, This however, I bought as a kit from like some motorcycle like a motorcycle parts website uh, So just get online and search around if you're interested in that Because um, there's really not like a, a company so to speak that you can go to like their website and buy them. All right, so again, one measuring cup of Plastisol. Uh, I do that for about three minutes and it usually comes out all right. This is the top half sitting there. You can see the uh, blue sparkle in it. So we're gonna go ahead and let that cook and then we're gonna go ahead and combine the two colors and see what we get. Okay, so we have our white pearl bottom. And this, and this pearl bottom isn't exactly straight white. 
Um, now, once you laminate it with the other color, it will kind of darken up. Um, so I think we're okay to leave it um, just natural white. You know what, just for kicks, we're gonna do just one drop of brown just to kind of make it, it, it just, it looks slightly creamy um, in the pictures. Just the color looks a little off-white, pretty much just like that. So I think that might actually turn out. That is just Carolina pumpkin, which is a fancy word for brown. And just a quick recap, the top is basically 40 drops of regular green pumpkin, and then a quarter teaspoon of the fine blue flake, the .008 millimeter. And, uh, and that's pretty much it. All right, let's see what we've got. Top 338. 338, all right. So we're gonna go ahead and draw up. The green is gonna be the top side. And these are the boom shads. So we're gonna go ahead and do number one, number two, and so on. So far that's looking really nice. I'm just kind of judging by the over spill. That can kind of give you a good indication if you got the color right. Just gonna keep going here. Looking good so far. The sprues are getting a little sticky, but that's okay. Just want to make sure that you keep filling up the mold, or uh, excuse me, filling up the sprue holes. Clean it off when you need to. Okay, and that should do it. I'm gonna go ahead and evacuate the rest of the plastic. And uh, I think he only wanted one bag of those. So I'll have to figure out what I'm gonna do with those. I, I might make some stuff for myself because that's a really cool color. But we're gonna go ahead and let those dry and see what we have. Okay, moment of truth on the KVD Magic. Let's see if I actually created some magic. Oh, yes. There it is. That is pretty magical. To me, let's uh, make sure that they turned out. This mold sometimes is bad about air pockets in the nose. I don't think it vents very well in the nose. Folks, that is KVD magic. And um, wow, that's, that's not half bad. I think, uh, I think if they're gonna bite KVD magic, then they'll bite this too. Okay, so the next color is the Gary Yamamoto color and it is purple with emerald flake. And the customer wanted, he wanted both trick worms and stogies, Cinco's in this color. So that presents um, a difference in formula. Uh, so what I can do, yeah, the, uh, let's see, the Yamamoto color, trick worms and Cinco's, one of each. So basically, I can make the trick worms first because they don't have salt and then I can, once I'm done with the trick worms, I can then use the same plastic. I can soften it and then add salt to do the Cinco's second. So you know, you, you can always add softener and add salt, but you can't take it away. So we're going to do what I can do first, the trick worms, we're going to knock those out and then we're gonna use the, the leftover plastic from that. We're gonna alter it to the Cinco formula and then we're gonna shoot the stick worms with it. Okay, so the Yamamoto color is a very bright purple. So we're going to use, you guessed it, purple. So we're gonna go ahead and load this up here. I think that will do it. I'm gonna do a little bit of heat stabilizer, of course. You'll probably learn soon that I don't make anything without heat stabilizer. So we're gonna go ahead here and stir this up. And I've actually measured out more than a cup because I'm gonna be doing two different things here. 
Um, so this is like a cup and a half, cup and a quarter. Um, so you want to, if you're gonna use a vacuum chamber, you want to really degas it cold really well um, because it won't rise up as much. Now, once you cook it, any air, it's gonna expand and it'll overflow the cup and then you've got a real mess. Um, but we're gonna start with this and this color is purple with medium 0 0.035 green flake. And uh, it's actually just, I mean, it's just a, just absolutely simple color, um, but I think it's gonna look really nice. So we're gonna go ahead and um, uh, go ahead and vacuum that and then cook it up and then we'll meet you back there. Okay, we have our purple cooked. And uh, like I said, it's just purple and then medium Oops, sorry, it's not medium blue. About had a disaster there. It's medium green. Yeah, gotta pay attention, right? Let's see. Go ahead and clean this off. Sometimes that glitter really sticks to uh, really sticks to your measuring measuring spoon. Okay, so it's purple and medium green. Purple with emerald flake. All right, we're gonna add a little bit more glitter here since this is technically more than a cup. Um, so we're gonna do pretty much twice the amount that I would normally put. And then we're just gonna go ahead and mix it in here. Just kind of stir it around best we can. See what we get. Move the camera up a smidge. All right. It's not too bad. It's really raining outside now. Let's see. I think that's good. We're gonna see what it looks like here. I think I need a little bit more green. Do another scoop there. So hopefully three times the charm it's raining cats and dogs today. I think that looks pretty good. We're gonna go ahead and draw up here and do our trick worms. I call it the savvy worm. Some people call it the trick worm. Some people call it a sling blade. Some people call it a Kaiser blade. Okay. Fill up our sprues a little bit. Okay, that should be good for the trick worms. Now we're gonna go ahead and let those dry and then we'll take them out and then we'll mix up the stogies. Okay, so we're gonna take the leftover uh, purple and green here. We're gonna add a little bit of softener. Softener. And we're just gonna pour some in. You don't need too much. And we're gonna go ahead and mix that up. This plastic's kind of half cooked, half set up right here. So we're gonna stir that softener in as best we can. Gonna go ahead and clean off, clean off the knife. And then we're gonna reheat this for about a minute. And, uh, and then from there, we'll add the salt. All right, there it is. The purple with emerald flake in the trick worm. Uh, the lighting, you probably can't see it all that well, but that looks really good. So I'm really excited to see this in the Cinco. Okay, so we have the purple with green reheated. And now, it smells like it's maybe getting a little too hot. We'll add a little bit more heat stayed to it. And that will quickly keep it from burning if it's a little too hot. You know, once you uh, reheat a few times, um, even with heat stabilizer in there, eventually it'll kind of wear out. All right, so I use about a quarter measuring cup um, per one cup of plastisol. And, uh, and Gary Yamamoto's are really salty, so I want to try to be as authentic as I can. So this one's gonna be loaded with salt. So that's a full, um, that's a full portion of salt for what's ultimately a little bit less than a cup 
of plastic because you know we already used some on those trick worms but that's it and I think we are ready to roll so we're gonna go ahead and stir this again make sure there's no clumping and it's time to make some Cinco's now I probably won't get all four molds from this one injector I think I can get about three but that's all I need only need about well I only need eight of them but I wanted to maybe have a few extras for myself who knows okay so that's looking okay I'm gonna go ahead and top off and I think we're good oh yeah boom that looks fantastic in a Senko, as it should it's a Gary Yamamoto color and they are pretty much the worldwide leader in Senkos. But I think that is very well matched and um, wow you know just the simplest colors are the best but uh, but that's it I think that turned out really good we're gonna go ahead and get the other ones out of the mold and um, and then I still have to do some baby bass trick worms so I'm probably just gonna shoot those off camera because uh, I've already done those and, uh, and then we'll show you the final results this is my best baby bass work ever pearl side green side pearl side green side oh why don't they always turn out like that jeez okay here is the finished product watermelon red stogies blackberry punch bugs mac and cheese savvies june bug frogs watermelon seed zags some more watermelon red stogs we have the gary yamamoto stogies and trick worms or savvy worms we have the kvd magic boom shads and the baby bass trick worms that is a really good nice variety platter right here uh, there's something for everybody on this tray. Well, that's going to wrap it up today, folks. I uh, hope you enjoyed the episode. We made quite a few things. Um, you know, this is this is a good variety here. I, I, I like seeing different things. I like making new colors. I like doing the custom thing. And uh, you know, it's it's all uh, it, it, it's all turned out good today. So uh, hope you learned a few new things about some new colors. I know that I did. I've never made uh, the uh, Strike King or the Gary Yamamoto. But now I know how to do it, and I uh, had some fun filming in the, uh, in the process. So I'm going to be shipping out some orders with Land is the Limit this week. If, you, uh, if you're interested in any bait, shoot me a comment or an email, and uh, I'll be happy to get started. But that's going to wrap it up today, and thanks for watching the World's Worst Fishing.